In this video we are going to teach you about angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, ACE inhibitors, and angiotensin receptor blockers, ARBs, and how these medications help your heart work better and help you feel better. We will explain different types of ACE inhibitors and ARBs, how it works in heart failure, benefits, and possible side effects. ACE inhibitors and ARBs are related drugs that work similarly and have similar benefits. The most common ACE inhibitors are lisinopril, enalapril, and bunazepril. The most common ARBs are losartan, valsartan, and candesartan. ACE inhibitors shouldn't be taken with ARBs because they have the same effects. When the heart is weak, the body responds by increasing stress hormones, including one called angiotensin II. This causes the heart to get weaker and the body to retain extra salt and fluid. ACE inhibitors and ARBs block these hormones and allow the heart to get stronger and retain less fluid. These medications also act to relax the blood vessels. This lowers blood pressure and helps the weakened heart better pump blood out to the body. Studies have shown ACE inhibitors and ARBs help patients with heart failure live longer and feel better. ACE inhibitors and ARBs work together with other heart failure medications like beta blockers to reach your goal therapy. For the full benefit of these medications, your clinician will increase your dose over time to either the goal dose that is most likely to help your heart. Most people do not have side effects with ACE inhibitors or ARBs. The most common side effect is dizziness often related to low blood pressure. Make sure to measure your blood pressure daily. To help prevent dizziness, change positions slowly and pump your legs up and down prior to standing up. You can also spread your heart failure medications throughout the day. If your dizziness doesn't get better, if it lasts longer than a couple of minutes or makes you feel like you may pass out, it is important to tell your clinician. ACE inhibitors can have the side effect of a dry cough. If you experience a new cough, your clinical team may switch you to an ARB. Very rarely, ACE inhibitors can cause a severe allergic reaction with swelling in your tongue or throat. This is very serious. If it occurs, please seek immediate medical help by calling 911. ACE inhibitors and ARBs require monitoring potassium levels and kidney function. After changes to your ACE inhibitor and ARB medications your clinician will likely recommend checking blood tests. You should try to avoid NSAIDs like ibuprofen or naproxen with these medications. You should not take ACE inhibitors or ARBs when pregnant or trying to get pregnant. There is a combination of an ARB and another medicine Secubitril this combination is called Entresto. This drug is even more effective for the heart than ARBs or ACE inhibitors alone because it combines the ARB with Secubitril which helps strengthen the heart. Some people feel much better with long-term use of an ACE inhibitor or ARB. Others do not feel any different, but that doesn't mean it's not working. ACE inhibitors or ARBs play an important role in preventing your heart from getting weaker in the long run and slow the progression of heart failure.